Are you tired of having to create shaders and materials to then link each texture pass on every single shader your model may have? Even if you're already a UD master, you would still have to create all of those nodes and materials to then go looking for your texture manually. Worry no more! Today, I present to you the new Houdini Texture Importer. With only 3 clicks, you will have your model in Potter and texture inside Houdini without having to worry about those pesky nodes and exhausting texture linking. On a fresh Houdini start, I will try to import the following model. As you can see, it has 5 materials assigned. Now, take a look at my texture folder. Here you can see every texture pass I exported from Substance Painter. Base color, metallic, height, roughness, and so on. Usually I would need to link each one of those passes manually using a material node and a magnetware. But not today. Let's delete this and do it the easy way. Go to your shelf tools and select texture importer. Now find your model house 1 xbx and click accept. Now select your texture folder. And that's it. As you can see, it automatically created your nodes. If you dive into the material network, you can see how it created a principal shader for each material. And inside each material, you have all the right textures assigned. Now your model is ready for render. But wait, there's more. Let's start again, because it also works with UD textures. Let me show you. I will try to import this test cube with some Udin textures. As you can see, it only has one material sign. Take a look at the texture folder for this model. You can see it has the classic Udin naming, starting at 1001. Now, let's give it a try. Click the icon and find your model. Now select the texture folder. And that's it. Now your model and your Udin texture has been imported into Houdini. If we dive again into the material network, we can see we have just one material created. And in this one, we have the right texture passes with the classic UD naming for Houdini. And that's it. Now, let's get technical here. How does it do it? Well, it works by reading each material on the shot material attribute of your model. Then, it creates how many materials are on the list and name them correctly. After that, it creates a material network where inside it creates as many principal shaders as shop material attributes in your model and rename them to match your materials. Lastly, given your texture folder, it would scout for a given list of image formats, such as PNG, EXR, TIFF, and so on. And if it finds one of those formats, it will start looping finding each material with its different passes using the classic substance naming conventions, such as base color, roughness, metallic, normal, and so on. If it detects a 1001 in your texture pass name, it will know it is a Udin texture, so it will only loop once for that material. And that's it. I wasn't gonna make this script public because this is actually my first Python script for Houdini, and I actually did it because I had to import one gigantic big model with 42 different textures and they were not UDIMs. So yeah, I had to I have to solve that. But in the end, after spending a few weeks working on this, I added as many validations as I could and I ultimately decided to make it available for who may need it. I realized not many use Mantra for rendering, so I was thinking on making different versions for other render, render engines in Houdini, such as Redshift. But I don't have them, so 
I may need some help for that. I hope you liked it. Tell me what you think, give me some feedback, and I would really appreciate if you subscribe and leave a like in the video. Uh, Tense the game. Bye.